make two, uh, I'd like to make two uh, quick points and then um, talk about an example from the real world from um, actually from WGBH, a, pro a problem that they invited Creative Commons to think about, but it's a problem that you all may face. Um, first, can you go to, they took the controls away from me now, I have to ask. <laughs> can you go to the first uh, BioDev slide or BioDev page? So this guy on the, on the left here, Christian Sardé, is a friend of mine. He's a terrific uh, um, uh, scientist. He works in the south of France, dives to get his specimens. His specialty is the moment of fertilization. And he's, he's uh, developed miraculous um, uh, photo and video microscopy tools and has made a number of movies. Can you go to the next slide? This is under the um, category, be careful what you wish for. Uh, no, the one, yeah, that one. Let's just watch it for a second, it's so beautiful. This is a sea urchin egg, a fertilized egg. Okay, so this is be careful what you wish for. Christian put this up. Um, he didn't exactly figure out the license terms, but he wanted everybody to use it. Would you like to know when in creation this happened? It happened on the second day. Because, well I know that because a creationist group in Missouri now sells this as part of their package and use this as, as the example. <clears throat> so we know. <clears throat> um, <laughs> So licensing, license terms are important. The two things that Creative Commons is most focusing on now in this realm are compatibility and interoperability. And by those terms, I mean that licenses, um, permissions can interoperate, that w one can, uh, the, whatever system, whatever network system we end up with, that one can recognize the other. Because if we have uh, work in separate silos and one has to go from one silo to the other and one can't see what permissions one can have from one to the next, what work is available from one to the next. That's not a future that Creative Commons um, prefers. So we're working hard to figure out that one. And the compatibility is that the licenses simply work together, that work from one uh, can be used in the other, that the machines looking at the metadata on those licenses can talk and understand if you want to cut and paste. You may use this from this one, you may not use this from this one, but you can use another piece from this one, basically. Those are the things that we are primarily focused on, or on, at least on the technical and licensing side. So, um, uh, I'd like to use some time now to talk about a, a particular problem that WGBH faced because it seems so illustrative and interesting. Um, so Sue Kantrowitz is here. She's the uh, vice president and uh, a general counsel, associate general counsel of GBH, general counsel, general counsel uh, of GBH. Um, she came to Creative Commons to talk about an issue they were working through. So do you want to join us up here? Have a microphone? You don't need notes. <laughs> <laughs> okay.